Hello everybody, welcome to this live broadcast live from Wild Ireland. We've just had 3,000 likes on Facebook, so as a thank you to everybody that's liked the page, I decided to come on here live and give you a look at the bears. So they're just waiting on their lunch. We have 7 kgs of fresh fruit and vegetables here. And we've got three very hungry bears. So guys, we're uh, planning on opening this Friday, the 25th of October. And we hope that uh, you'll all come along to see all the wild animals that were uh, once native to Ireland that have gone extinct. They're just saying hello to everybody. Uh, the animals have all gone extinct and now for the first time in thousands of years, they're back. So hopefully everybody will stay tuned now while we feed the bears their lunch. So the bears eat five kg of food each every day. They mostly eat uh, vegetables, even though they're officially, they are carnivores. Uh, they love um, carrots, apples, pears. They especially love fish. They also love nuts. So lots of peanuts, hazelnuts. We actually gave them some coconuts this morning and they loved those. So these are our brown bears. Brown bears were once native to Ireland. They're believed to have gone extinct here about two and a half thousand years ago. These are the only three brown bears in Ireland. These three bears were rescued uh, from a terrible uh, home in Lithuania where they were kept in a concrete cell with iron bars on the front. So we worked with uh, two uh, international animal charities, Bears in Mind and uh, Nature Help Centrum to rescue these bears. We worked really hard to have them confiscated and then we brought them all the way here to Donegal. These bears had never been able to run, they'd never been able to swim. They were quite apprehensive when we let them out first, but it's amazing how their uh, natural instincts kicked in and uh, all of a sudden they're allowed to be bears again. So we have three bears here. They're yet to be named. The big fella at the back is the boy and the two smaller ones at the front are the two girls. They're siblings, brothers and sisters. And they're a bit cranky this morning with each other. some apple. So we're getting some fresh carrot and also uh, fresh apples and pears. So this is just their lunch. So I'm just reading some of the comments here, guys. One of the questions is, have the bears got names? They haven't got names yet. As I said, these bears were badly mistreated in the past. Um, they were kept as a, an attraction in a museum in Lithuania in a concrete uh, cell with iron bars on the front. Um, and they, they, they didn't even, uh, they weren't given the dignity of having their own names. So they've come here unnamed. We'd really like to give them some Irish names. Uh, any suggestions guys? We might run a naming competition for the three bears. There's one male and two females. So if you have any nice uh, Irish names that would suit these three bears, let us know. Perhaps uh, let us know your name suggestions and give us a little uh, paragraph about why you think that we should choose your name. Look at this. So 
Seeing some comments that people are really looking forward to visiting, guys. We're really looking forward to greeting you all here at Wild Ireland next week. As I say, we're open at 10 a.m. on Friday, the 25th of October. That was a little disagreement there. It looked a lot worse than it was. It was mostly noise and pushing. Somebody got out of the bed on the wrong side this morning. So the bears are five years old, or they will be five years old on the 1st of January. They were born on the 1st of January 2015, so they'll be five years old on the 1st of January 2020. And as I said, they're three siblings. Getting some name suggestions in, guys, as well. As I said, we'd really like to give them Irish names. If anybody has some Irish name suggestions and maybe a little paragraph about why we should pick your name. So these are European brown bears. These were once native to Ireland. They went extinct around two and a half thousand years ago. Getting a shout out for you, Pamela. Pamela's the animal operations manager. And Kitty's here as well, my wife Kitty. And we're just feeding the bears. Yeah, Pamela's doing a fantastic job with these bears. So guys, if you have any questions about the bears or about Wild Ireland, pop them in the comments and we can answer them now while we're live. There's 89 people following, or watching, 90 people following. Let us know where you're from. And let us know what you're looking forward to seeing when you visit Wild Ireland. Searsha for one of the girls, meaning freedom. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Bears have been here uh, just over a week now, so they're still getting settled in. Guys, if you look on the Facebook page, and while you're on there, please like and share it. You'll see some photographs of where the bears came from and the horrible enclosure that they were kept in. And if you also visit the uh, Facebook page of the one of the international charities called Bears in Mind, they were uh, involved in the rescue of these bears in Lithuania. You'll be able to read much more about their story and how they how they ended up uh, being confiscated and rehomed here at Wild Ireland. So we're delighted that these guys are back in Donegal for the first time in thousands of years. And I think you'll have to agree, guys, they really fit in. They just look like they're at home. They're perfectly adapted to their um, environment here in, in Donegal. They don't mind the cold or the rain. Larkin meaning little fierce one, that's a nice one. He's not little, Brenton. He's huge. <laughs> uh, it is quite a bit of a walk up from Burnfoot. We're up near White Oaks. So yeah, you might be better getting a, getting a lift up. That's it, 7 kg of food just gone like that. And they still look hungry. 
few people asking about what other animals are here at Wild Ireland. I might just take you over and let you see the bear's neighbours. So I'll keep you pointing at the bears for another couple of seconds. And then we'll take a walk over here. You can see, guys, uh, Wild Ireland's built in a natural piece of uh, Irish forest. It's a natural environment for the animals. If we just walk over here, we can have a look into this um, woodland here. And we'll just give him a little call here. Finn! Oshin! Finn, hello! Any guesses what's going to be coming out of the woods? Finn, Oshin, come here! Hello! Here they come. Hi! These are our wolves, guys. That's Finn, the white one. Finn, of course, means fair haired. And then that's Oshin, his buddy beside him. And there's a third wolf in the background. They're going to howl. Try and get them howling, maybe. Uh, <laughs> so these guys are saying hello to everybody. Finn, oh, woo, woo, woo. Woo. <laughs> 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 they see Pamela coming now, and they're they're hoping Pamela's bringing some food with her. So again, wolves were native to Ireland. They only went extinct a couple hundred years ago. And there were so many wolves in Ireland that it was actually known as Wolfland at one time. Ireland was nicknamed Wolfland. And of course they were hunted to extinction here, unfortunately. So now for the first time in hundreds of years, uh, there are wolves back howling in the forests of Donegal. So would you guys like to see some more animals now that we're live on Facebook? If we keep seeing hearts and likes, we'll go and look at something else. Okay, we'll go look at some more native animals. While we're walking, I'll, I'll show you around Wild Ireland. You can see guys that Wild Ireland is built in a native piece of forest. Not many people know that this is a, what's called a temperate rainforest. Uh, all the rain in Ireland makes sense when you realize that it was once a uh, rainforest. Of course, it's a temperate rainforest, which is different from the tropical rainforest uh, in South America and Asia. Uh, the temperate rainforests run right across the northern hemisphere. It's actually one of the rarest habitats in the world because it's, there's so many trees being cut down. Um, if you have a look in the forest, you'll see all the ferns and mosses that grow in the, in the native forest. And then if I point the camera around here, guys, you can see some of the birds that live on the lake here. We have shell ducks, barnacle geese, greater white-fronted geese, uh, grey lag geese. We've even got swans, which you can see flapping around out here. 
We've even got the smallest uh, native duck, the teal, which are so small that I can't see them. Oh, I found them. They're just up here. These are the smallest native duck. So the white guy there is the shell duck. And then if you look there, the little small brown one is the smallest native duck, European teal. We've got mallards, beautiful whooper swans. On the island, guys, in the background, if you look right here, you can see one of our monkeys. These are Barbary macaques. These were never native to Ireland, but during the Pleistocene, they did range this far north. They, their um, fossils have been found in Norfolk in the UK. So there's no evidence to say that they ever got here on their own. But there have been fossils of Barbary macaques found here in Ireland, believe it or not. They don't believe they got here by themselves. They believe that the uh, Celtic chieftains were trading with um, people in the Mediterranean 2,000 years ago. And they were bringing them here as pets, believe it or not. So we're going we're gonna to show you just... Oh, look at the swan having a bath. These are whooper swans. These are the swans that are just flying in now to spend the winter in Donegal. And they're still only babies, that's why they're grey and not pure white. Um, there's a little tufted duck. And we'll go back through the forest. Just going to show you one more animal before we end this live video. Guys, please um, like and share the Facebook page. And as I say, we'll be running a competition to name the bears. You can read all about our bears and their story on the Facebook page. Wild Ireland and here's a little surprise for you that's our lynx that's Nisha believe it or not Ireland did have big cats at one time the original Celtic tiger Nisha come on here she comes Imagine these, these big cats once roamed Ireland and they would have ate uh, baby deer, uh, mountain hares, grouse, animals like that. Nisha, come on. All right, guys, so we'll leave it there. Thank you for tuning in to the live video. As I say, we're opening on the 25th of October, which is this Friday at 10 a.m. And we'll be open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Hope to see you all then. Thank you. Bye-bye.